Item number SCP-4912. Object class safe. Update neutralized. Special containment procedures. Update. In light of recent events, SCP-4912 has been relocated to a storage locker at Site-64. No other containment procedures are necessary at this time. Archived Special Containment Procedures 14th of November 2018 SCP-4912 is contained in the Standard Euclid Class Anonymous Item Locker and is not to be removed unless for cleaning. Handling of SCP-4912 is to be done entirely by an all-female staff crew to oversee maintenance and regular upkeep of the costume. Male staff members are prohibited from entering SCP-4912's chamber and are forbidden from interacting with it. Description SCP-4912 is a standard spandex costume with no known manufacturer, method design based on Spider-Man, a popular Marvel Comics character. SCP-4912 regenerates all damage done to it at a rate inversely proportional to the degree of damage. Small cuts require up to three months, while large incisions may be repaired within hours. When held up or observed by a male human being, SCP-4912 compels them to put it on. Individuals who are under the influence of SCP-4912's compulsion effect are designated as SCP-4912-A instances. This compulsory effect does not extend to pictures or video footage of SCP-4912. SCP-4912 is also capable of enlarging itself to accommodate people of different sizes. SCP-4912-A instances are otherwise normal human beings with a desire to protect their surrounding neighborhood or city. Instances will try to locate any act of crime being committed and attempt to stop it. Most of these preventions in crime will usually end up with the SCP-4912-A instance in a state of injury or death due to the lack of protection other than SCP-4912 itself. This desire of SCP-4912 wears off after spending a certain amount of time away from it until the instance of SCP-4912-A has become disinterested in wearing SCP-4912, usually taking a minimum of three months to a year to lose the effect. In certain cases, however, the instance will suffer from withdrawal and attempt to substitute their need by participating in various Spider-Man-related paraphernalia, such as attending conventions, interacting with others by bringing up topics related to Spider-Man and his philosophy, and wearing non-anonymous variations of the costume in an act of cosplay. Amnestic treatment of these instances will only alleviate these symptoms. Addendum 49121 SCP 4912A6 Interview Log Interview Transcript of SCP 4912A6 Subject is of Puerto Rican and Austrian descent and the most recent instance of SCP 4912A. Subject is in high school and was captured during an attempt to disrupt a mugging of an elderly man. A cell was turned over to the police with SCP 4912A6 detained for questioning. Interview log transcript. Subject SCP 4912A6. Interviewer Agent Hopper. Begin log. Hello there. Please take a seat. Uh, alright. State your name. I'm not in trouble, am I? I was just helping the whole guy out. Please state your name for the record. Uh, my name is Beep, but you can call me Beep. Alright, Beep. Would you like to tell us how you found the costume? What? You mean this? Gestures to himself and pulls at the fabric. Well, I, uh, I found on my way home from school in the Nali. I, uh, I found it in a trash can. It had a couple holes in it, but it didn't look too out of shape. Why do you go to the alley? 
It was a shortcut. I always passed through there. It didn't look dirty or anything. So you brought it home. Then your mother asked you why you bring a costume in the house. She, uh, wasn't the type of person to keep a close eye on us. Us? Oh, sorry. I have, like, four half-brothers. Crazy, right? Yes, that's certainly insane. <clears throat> so, you took it home and you wore it, correct? Well, not immediately. I washed it first and I put it on just like that. You describe what you feel when you wore the suit. It felt pretty comfy. Don't know why anyone would throw this away. No, 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 I mean, have you experienced anything when you wore it the first time? Nothing, really. It just felt cool to be Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Then why is it that you tried to save that old man from getting mugged? Why in the costume? I'm I'm not insane if that's what you're asking. I never said you were. But I didn't know why you want to save a guy wearing a costume when you could have done it without. Sounds ridiculous, isn't it? I... I guess, but, uh... But it felt great to be Spider-Man. It's... I know I don't have any responsibility or obligation to save anyone, but it felt... It felt right, you know? I don't... I don't feel like anything's changed. I just feel like I have to. But why the costume? Why act like someone who doesn't exist? I've always asked myself that question too, actually. Why do I keep doing this? Why? Like, I realize now that there's a reason behind it all. Behind what Spider-Man is. What he means. I mean, I don't expect you to understand. Not sure if I understand it either. But, but Spider-Man isn't just a hero that people aspire to be because of the cool powers or the witty remarks. Spider-Man is an idea. The idea that anyone can put up that mantle and be just like him. Presently, under the mask, Spider-Man is all of us. That's quite an insight. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, uh, no. In all. Addendum 4912 2. Incident Report. On November 12th, 2018, SCP-4912 became animate and escaped its locker. SCP-4912 proceeds to take on a humanoid form in a similar state of being worn. SCP-4912 escaped the chamber and started running towards the nearest exit. MTF Key 85 Heavy Resistance was dispatched to contain SCP-4912. A distress call was picked up from MTF Key 85 claiming that SCP-4912 had begun to manifest anomalous qualities unseen before. Among these qualities are included increased physical strength, increased agility, hyperactive reflexes, adherence to all physical surfaces by the palms and feet, discharging of an adhesive semi-solid substance with similar qualities to spider silk from the underside of the wrists, Analysis of the substance has revealed it to be composed of both organic and inorganic compounds. After incapacitating one of the members of MTF Key 85, SCP-4912 ran away from the group and escaped. A site lockdown was enacted to prevent SCP-4912 from escaping, but it proceeded to punch at the reinforced door until it was weakened enough to be torn off of its hedges. SCP-4912 then ran in a path towards the Citizen Nye Medical Center, located in the Beverly Grove neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Eyewitness reports claim to have seen SCP-4912 swinging from the rooftops and running up the sides of the buildings. Mobile Task Force Delta-23 was immediately dispatched to apprehend the entity. SCP-4912 arrived at the location and began to run towards the front of the building's doors before abruptly stopping and beginning to kneel. 
MTF Delta 23 arrived and began a defensive posture against the entity and slowly approached. SCP-4912 knelt in place for 30 seconds before it placed its left hand to cover its face and the other hand holding the ground. The entity then raised its head to look up at the sky before it began to innovate and returned to its original inanimate form. Amnestics were distributed across Beverly Grove with SCP-4912 taken for processing. SCP-4912 was noted to no longer possess its anomalous compulsion and was classified as neutralized. Close inspection of SCP-4912's eyes revealed them to leak a watery saline solution. This solution has been chemically analyzed to be of similar composition to that of human tears. The significance of this event is currently unknown.